Howdy fellas, Frankie Day back again on YouTube. Okay guys, Devil Features for a Friday evening. Okay guys, uh, while my Liberty Ship update is uh, is uploading, so it's time to uh, make another video. And uh, this is going to be my kit entry for uh, Mr. Bob Buskin's community group build. It, uh, he commented me back and says that this build is going to run all the way until the end of, Nick, uh, of this month, March. And uh, so I, I had this thing done way before that. But um, this is an old kit I have in my stash for years. I think you guys seen it about three videos ago. Maybe four or five. <laughs> so this is my Revell 140 scale 1960 release of the 86 Sky Raider, also known as Sandy, the Flying Dump Chuck, Able Dog, Spad, ADs. The 86 Sky Raider is probably one of the most popularized last of the piston driven aircraft by the United States Navy. Outside of that of the uh, of the Tiger Cat, the Atlanta Tiger Cats, which were twin engine. Uh, they were actually the last of the piston engine fighters too, but they were very short lived. They didn't use them as much as they used the 86 Sky Raider. The 86 Sky Raider came out in 1947, but it was it was designed way too late. By uh, in, by the end of the Second World War, they came off the drawing board and they started building. Them. And uh, it was supposed to be the replacement of the SPD Dauntless and also the SP2C Helldiver. But the 86 Sky Raider never saw World War II service. It did see the Korean War and the Vietnam War. And after the Vietnam War, they still used them a little bit as for training aircraft. And they actually, they were, they were uh, stricken for the Naval Register and scrapped. So um, this aircraft right here is, uh, is an old Revell kit. And um, it's going to be a fun build. It's a gimmick model. It's like that of my Grumman Gulf Hawk. It does everything but fly. So um, this is going to be a, a gimmick model. I'm going to preserve the action features like I did on my Gulf Hawk. And once the model is complete, I'll activate the action action features and uh, just for extra extra variety to uh, to my build. Okay, guys, without further ado, we'll swing over here and take a look at the 86 Sky Raider, and uh, I'll discuss the parts, the contents, the decals, the instructions, and we'll swing the camera back to yours truly, and uh, finish up the video. Okay, guys, we'll zoom a little closer here. Right here. Is a 1960 Revell 86 Sky Raider, and it looks like she's landing aboard the USS Franklin D. Delano Roosevelt. And uh, you get the landing signal officer right here, give him a wave in for landing. And you've got your rester cable operators right here, rest of, that operate the resting cables. And, uh, of course, all the deck crew of uh, aviation boats mates, they'll all run over and grab her and put, pull her wings up, take her down to the hang hangar base, and, and they'll do a little work on her and get her ready for the next sortie. Okay, guys, um, a lot of you guys have probably seen this before. A lot of you fellas have, haven't. This model retails for $3. I got it at the ship store for about $1.50 aboard the USS Oxford AG AGTR-1. And we'll take, the we'll take the box off and... Uh, Look at the goodies inside of it. It's molded in a, a blue plastic. You can see the sprues. The sprues look pretty hideous compared to what's shaken for today. And um, get this box over here. I can organize my workload as I make the inbox of you in this bad girl. So this thing, oh, I took it out of the bag here and looked at it, folks. I got a little overzealous one day, so I had to look at it. Took it out of the baggie right here where it comes out of. And uh, believe you me, they, the, the parts of these things, I mean, when they weigh they ship them, <laughs> they're not as good as Trumpeter and the rest of the, uh, the Asian brothers, but they just crudely throw it in the bag and seal it up and throw it in the box. 
So I right here's a fuselage has. The kind of chunky and beefy right here. And as you can see right here, got the right left halves, they go on like so. It's molded kind of like a like a blue plastic, gray, grayish blue. But it's gonna be a dark blue when I get finished with sea blue. When I get done. And of course you can see the where all the operating parts go at, where it slides back and forth, opens up the dive brakes. You can see the rudder hangs on the on the tail of the of the uh, vertical stabilizer. Okay, we that there. And uh, right here, you got the you got your engine inspection panels right here, and you got your motor mount that goes against the firewall. This is used as part of your cow. The front of your cowing. This is your governor ring. And uh, this is another firewall goes on next to the right cyclone engine that the mighty AD was powered by. And uh, now this screw right here, is, um, get this stuff out of the way. There's more of the engine parts as you can see right here, fellas. Landing gear covers right here. These are gears right here. As landing gear retracts, the wheels will rotate 90 degrees and fold inside the wells. This is your bottom dive brake uh, assembly here. Your stabilizer. This is your cockpit floor. Ailerons. This is the bottom of your wing right here. And these are all the figures that come with the cat action figures. And this screw here contains the wheels itself, your landing gear stud retainers, and also retainers. And also, you got your retainers here for your landing gear wells. And also, right here to keep the uh, landing gear activation to keep it um, more or less locked here to keep the wheel wheel wells wheel well doors from falling off. And uh, this screw here consists of um, it's more part of the engine right here. Yeah, this is the back of your governor ring with your manifolds assemblies right here. Goes on back of the engine. So that's pretty much in its entirety right there. This brew consists of the dive brakes on the side of the fuselage. This is your wing right here at a, at a joint adjacent up to the center section of the wing. It folds. These are your inner interior of your wing rib wells. This is a base plate for your figures to stand. This you activating bill crank will operate your dive brakes. So, and uh, lastly, uh, you got this screw consists of the remainder of the wings. You got your rocket uh, mounts on here with your rockets fit on there. And you got your um, fuel tanks, auxiliary fuel tanks here. This linkage right here, which slides back and forth inside the fuselage. To activate your dive brakes on this linkage right here. Here's your thousand pound bomb, and uh, here's your prop running loose in here as part of your part of the fuselage, which makes up the engine mounts. And you got your manifold covers, dive brakes. A lot of loose parts came off here. I should never took it out of the bag, you fellas. I was more took out the toilet a little bit, but. The bill that's presented itself because uh, we got the um, got Mr. Uskin's uh, community bill, so I might as well just go ahead and present this. Oh boy, these decals are kind of old. You can see the yellowing on there, but I'm going to use them. They're good. I mean, they, they ain't going to disintegrate. They're not going to crack because I can't see any separation from the uh, decals itself. Because generally, if they start cracking like that, as soon as you put them in the water, they'll fall apart. So if the rule of thumb is. You take, you take a rattle can and, and get some, use either gloss or dull coat and spray the whole sheet. Get a couple good coats and let it dry. That'll seal the decal itself when it slides out the backing sheet. You have to worry about I have no fears at all, fellas, of these decals disintegrating on your model. Because they don't make no decals to this because this is an odd scale. It's a scale of 140, so it's a lot more bigger than the 148 scale. Okay, put the decals over here. 
And uh, of course, you got all the Ravel stuff here they give you. <laughs> Boy, this stuff is outdated. About 60 years outdated. Got a collector's stamp they give you. Ravel was full of gimmicks back in the early days of plastic hood, fellas. And uh, here's the instructions they give you right here. They start out with the wings. You put your you got your fuel, you know, your fuel take struts, which is your mounts, fits on the wings, they call for that. Your bomb assemblies, and this right here is your bomb rack assembly right here, which slides back and forth, puts operation landing gear. And uh, next page, uh, is primarily, see, that's how instructions used to be years ago. You just give you, tell you how to put it together and everything, and very detailed views. There's a lot of parts that make this thing work, fellas. And it's got to be exercised with care. If it's not, these things ain't going to work. Uh, the next sheet, um, joining the fuselage. Remember the, the activator for the dive brakes right here? It goes right inside that fuselage by lowering the stabilizer. Those dive brakes will open. And... Uh, all the parts here shows you how to join in for you close the fuselage, your engine, your firewall, governor rings. Uh, you got your speed ring braces. Everything on there. And lastly, the completion. You get the mount paint figures. It tells you. It gives you all call, color call outs. Ancient, fellas. Very, 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 very ancient compared to what's shaking today. And this is going to be a fun little build. It'll get me away from my, my ships for a while I'm been building. Airplane's been calling on me right now, so if I do anything I'm gonna, before I get this started, I'll probably start this probably by Monday. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, finish up that gun golf hawk of mine. All it needs is to be painted and decaled and, and assembled and rigged up. And she's, and, uh, she's done, fellas. So the hard part's all done on it, so it's all finished. And this here completes the... Uh, Inbox of you of the Ravel 1960 release 86 Sky Raider. There's only two sources where you can find this model, fellas. It's either on eBay or you go to a model convention. And naturally, they have a lot of uh, vendors there standing by, and you can find them there too if you're very lucky. And uh, I saw a couple of these on eBay. And I was thinking very seriously about uh, placing a couple of bids on them. And that way I could be able to have another one in my stash. Because I had this for years on end, fellas. I just dug this thing out. As a matter of fact, I think I bought two of these things. Here's another one I have. I bought, I bought aboard the, the Oxford. and There's all the parts and stuff. And... And it's a it's a good kit. I I know I'm gonna enjoy to build this one. And I'll think you guys are gonna enjoy it too as well. Yeah, we'll see the camera yours truly here. Okay, here I am fellas. Okay guys. That completes the um inbox review of my kit entry for Mr. Buskin's uh community group build. I'll start this on Monday and uh And uh, that'll be that. And uh, so, like I said before earlier in the video, the, 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 the build runs all the way up to the end of March. So, you got about three, four weeks of ample time. If you, if you get a little behind, pretty good. I'm, I'm very certain and quite certain that uh, Mr. Bob Buskin will uh, extend it another week or so and give you a little more time. I can't see why he wouldn't, wouldn't let you do it, but uh, he'll, he'll give you more time if needed. So that'll be that, fellas. Uh, that completes the video number two for this evening on my on the, on a Friday evening on a video. So wrap this video, fellas. I'm gonna let this thing load up. I'm gonna probably go ahead and start airbrushing my uh, Grum and Goat Flock, get that all painted uh, orange, and um, probably have a video of that maybe by this Sunday. Should have it done by this Sunday. Then I'll hop on my California over there and get that thing all squared away and get her all painted. It's going to be a fast build. And uh, so I've got a lot of bills calling on me. Being retired, I've got nothing but 
Nothing but time and days and weeks and months and years ahead of me, so I'm going to have fun building my retirement model uh, stashes and everything, and that would be that. Okay, guys, it's time for you to get out of here right now, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for checking in. And may God bless, happy modeling, make Mama happy. And uh, tomorrow I'll share the final reveal on my USS, uh, on my SS Patrick Henry Liberty ship. And I'll start on this Sky Raider by this Monday. So right now I'm going to get hot on my go fuck it, that I'll paint and let it dry overnight and, and uh, have her done for you fellas. Okay, guys, this is Frank and I signing off one more time again. May God bless. Catch you guys uh, tomorrow for the final reveal on the SS Patrick Henry. So stay tuned for that for tomorrow. Thanks, fellas.